Shiba Inu stats are giving us some very bullish signs, but why is the price of Shiba Inu not going up? Plus, it's Freaky Friday and we can anticipate a lot of volatility. What does that mean for you? Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, moneymakers. I want to talk to you guys about Shiba Inu, about Bitcoin, and about the crypto market. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button because Friday likes are for free. And let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently Shiba Inu is sitting at 0.401767 down minus 2% on the day. It's uh, in line with basically what has been happening uh, with the rest of the crypto market here. Bitcoin down about a percent uh, and the total crypto market down 0.8% on the day. You got Sol that was, you know, popping last night uh, is now down 3%. Uh, in general, let's see, this website wasn't working before. Let's see if it's working now. By the way, I'm recording this a little bit earlier uh, in the day. I'm going to the, the movies with my kids. Um, so the prices might be a little bit different right now when you are watching this uh, video. Maybe we saw a little bit of a pump. Maybe we saw a little bit of a dump. We'll get to uh, the the volatility issues in just a second. Uh, but it, it will be very interesting to see what happens today, uh, what happens this weekend. We're getting very, very close uh, to the U.S. election and um, it, it's all up in the air, right? There's two scenarios that can play out here. Um, people, the you know, we can continue to consolidate until the elections, a lot of money sitting on the sidelines, not knowing what could potentially happen. Or we could have kind of like a buy the rumor, sell the news type of action where the markets pump into the election because money thinks that one candidate is going to win or the other candidate. I don't know. It depends on what the money thinks. <laughs> uh, and then we kind of have a run up into the elections. Um, and third scenario could be that it runs up into the elections and then continues to pump. I don't see a scenario that we drop significantly now. Maybe I'm wrong about that, right? That's the fourth scenario. <laughs> you know what? All scenarios can happen. <laughs> then I could be in the title. I was right, right? You love you love that, guys, right? Um, but so it will be very interesting to see what could potentially happen here uh, for the crypto market in the uh, next coming weeks. It's going to be very exciting. I'm anticipating uh, for that. You know, a lot of people are saying that it's it makes, you know, total sense right now to, to jump into the crypto market. Listen, I don't know, you know, Bitcoin, it makes uh, total sense. You have to be careful here with things like that. You don't know exactly what's going to happen. We don't know exactly what's going to play out. We know what happened in the past. We potentially know, uh, potentially, like we can hypothesize about what's going to happen in the future, but that doesn't mean that that's going to happen. We do have about $5 billion worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum options that are set to expire today. High volatility expected. That's why I call it Freaky Friday um, because there's, you know, lots of possibilities of ups and downs and we never know exactly what's going to happen. Of course, if you remember, I talked about how Shiba Inu doesn't stay in this 1800 range for long, uh, as we saw, it did dip into it into the seven back into the 1700. 1700 is a range that Shiba Inu knows quite well. 1800 was a range that it hadn't you know it hadn't been there for for a long time, and so we saw that uh, sell off a little bit. Uh, if we're looking at the four hour chart here for Shiba Inu, you can see that we're, we are high on the stochastic RSI, uh, and we went from sell to buy to neutral. It's all over the place. It's very it's very delicate right now. Uh, and it will be interesting to see over this weekend what happens. You know, it, sometimes when we have a good Friday, then we have a Saturday and se Sunday sell off. Um, so, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, things can change very, very fast in the crypto market. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, we could potentially be uh, talking about, uh, you know, now we're kind of speculating what could you know we're not speculating we're we're on the fence a little bit what's going to happen today because friday is is that there's a reason why i call it freaky friday <laughs> right because sometimes it goes bananas um i saw this uh video here from former uh chairman of the federal reserve alan greenspan uh, and i thought I, it was interesting and you know sometimes i like to share uh you know clips from you could call them wise people or people uh with with financial 
um, know about. And he's, you know, he might not be the most pro crypto uh, person, but I think it's important to get, you know, uh, information from all people. He's not anti crypto, but you listen to what he has to say, and it's it's very interesting to to think about that. Uh, the value of bitcoins can never be negative. And so there's only one thing it could be. It's either zero or plus. And the way human beings estimate value, uh, you're going to get a number of people always consider it a plus. And if you happen to be Bitcoin and get into early on, you create a huge potential market. But it's not an accident that virtually all of these cryptocurrencies uh, that have some semblance of control with them and the mathematics are correct uh, are doing reasonably well. Uh, so if you notice, that, right, this is not a, a new clip because the price of Bitcoin in this video is 12745 <laughs> uh, I don't, is Alan, is Alan with us uh, anymore? Uh, I actually, we can check that real quick. Um, was okay so he passed away um uh, no he's still alive <laughs> there's because it, it says was so i thought uh he, he passed away no he's still alive he's 98 years old um so of course for him someone like him it's hard to conceptualize you know crypto and bitcoin because it's you know we know that it's it's a young thing you know um Charlie Munger, which was uh, Warren Buffett's uh, partner there, he always was really anti-crypto to the day he he left uh, the world. Um, but, you know, we have younger people like uh, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink that had the capacity to, to, you know, change his mind about crypto and change his mind about Bitcoin, where he was very anti. Uh, and you see even Alan here talking about how um, if there's, you know, value to be made, then then it has a value, right? Uh, and Bitcoin, we've talked about this before, always has that um, mathematical uh, up, uh, one up, I would call it, right? Uh, that because of the having, the scarcity of it will continue to happen, and um, the you know the supply shock every four years will continue to happen, and theoretically the price should go up forever and ever. But does that does not mean that in the short term, it will go up, right? Or it will go down. That is more to what's happening with the uh, with the traders and the day traders and the swing traders. And, and that has more effect on what's going on there. Um, but theoretically, right, this is all theoretically, the price should continue to go up forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Um, just because of the math and how how the system works, right? Um, and, and that's not with every single cryptocurrency. That's just specifically with Bitcoin. And because Bitcoin is the Mac Daddy and it has so much effect, then people will relevate it to um, the other cryptos, right? So if we go back to Shiba Inu, we have been seeing a lot of Shiba Inu uh, um, um, indicators or Shiba Inu statistics go up significantly. We saw SHIB burn skyrocket 65,000%. Um, we've talked about this before, that this is something that happens because the amount of Shiba Inu that's being burned uh, some days is very low. And then if you have another day uh, where it's, uh, you know, significant, then you're going to have a significant jump uh, in, um, in the burn rate. But what we also are seeing is that the amount of transactions on Shibarium has suddenly started going up. Um, you can see here, watching Shibarium's growth is exciting as we enter early days of major developments from Shibarium project the core team enjoy it it's hard works uh 4.77 million transactions this is from october 25th this morning um you can see we had uh 4.77 million transactions if you remember the chibarium kind of got very very low transactions we had a, a time in in place where um, Shibarium was doing about 7 million transactions daily and we accumulated that big amount of uh, Shiba Inu to be burned, if you remember, and there was the whole story around it. And will they do it? They didn't do it. And then eventually they did do it, the burn. Now it's supposed to be automatic. If the numbers continue to go up, this will be interesting to see how much Shiba Inu can actually be burned. Um, Again, this could be because of a specific project like we had last time. I'm going to do a little bit research. Uh, I don't... I'm not sure why the transactions are popping up, 
uh, and why the accounts are suddenly uh, growing as well. Um, so we'll see uh, what could potentially happen with Shibarium. Uh, and if Shibarium starts cooking, you know, I've said this multiple times, if the numbers get a lot better, then I will change my tune about the potential uh, top uh, value of Shiba Inu. Uh, but again, as long as uh, Shibarium is kind of, uh, you know, slagging around along, uh, it's going to be very hard to predict those kinds of things. But if the data changes and it's looking good, then we might change our predictions, but not yet. Uh, 4.77 million is nice. Uh, it's it's a right direction, but I want to see continuation. I want to see, you know, more than 7 million, what we saw back then, and, and see Shibarium to continue to grow. And then we can start, you know, ch changing our predictions a little bit. And I stated this before, if the data changes, I will change my tune because when the date you, you can say, oh, well, if this happened, no, I'm looking at the data and I'm looking at what's happening. And that's how I'm trying to predict uh, what, what could potentially happen. I'm still going to stick with a tenth of a cent. I'll be very happy uh, if that plays out for me. And if it's better, it's better, right? <laughs> um, that, that it can always be better, right? So uh, that, that's going to be very interesting to see how it, all of it plays out. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.